Now, all of the things that I've done here are kind of like for more of a hands-on person. But let's say I'm more of a visual learner and I want to see a visual representation. Well, rather than to let you have to focus on a little bitty, you know, eight inch screen in the middle of the board to see what an EQ looks like, we created Virtual Studio Live. And Virtual Studio Live is exactly that. It's basically the settings of your board on your screen. So let's just take a look at what Virtual Studio Live looks like. And as you can see here, I've got a nice graphical representation of what's happening. So, you know, I can select a channel and, you know, very easily grab an EQ, you know, sweep it around. And now you have a, you know, a visual representation of what's happening. So, you know, if I do something like, you know, adjust the bandwidth on the EQ, okay, and I grab this, well, now you can kind of see visually what it's doing. And as you can see on, on my mixer, you know, I'm, I'm controlling the mixer. So it is a bi-directional communication. I mean, if I grab a, you know, a knob on the mixer, you'll see it move on the screen as well. So everything I do on the mixer is reflected on the screen and vice versa. Um, now, I showed you how to load in presets from the, the actual mixer hardware, but let me show you how to do it on Virtual Studio Live. So if I go to the Overview tab and I open up this browser, you can see right here I've got essentially, here's all of my different fat channel settings right here. And it's kind of separated into two different areas. I've got what's on my hard drive, so that's on the disk. These are presets that are on the hard drive. And right here below is what's on the actual Studio Live. So th the advantage of this is, is that, you know, the Studio Live only holds about 100 presets of fat channel settings on the actual hardware, but on my computer, it's virtually limitless. So, you know, if I have a different team of musicians or I wanted to set up different applications, you have basically an unlimited number of presets that you can save to your computer. And then using this application, you can actually load any particular things onto the board that you want. So in other words, you don't have to have the computer connected to use the board, but when you do, there's some really cool things that you can do. So let me just show you how to load in presets. So let's just say, you know, channel 22, is a, you know, let's just say it's a, an acoustic guitar, okay? And I want to load in a preset acoustic guitar curve. So I can look through my presets right here, and I can find, here's an acoustic guitar. And if I just click and drag this over, you see it highlights the, the different channels. I just highlight the channel I want it on and just let it go. So just click, drag, drop. Now, similarly, Let's say I like the EQ setting of that preset, but I don't like the compressor. Well, you know, I can grab a compressor setting from a different preset, and if I click directly in between one of these cells, it'll just take that one particular uh, processor, like let's say just the compressor, or let's say I want the gate from this one. Okay, so you, you see what I'm saying? You can take different parts of different presets to make a custom preset, and then of course, I can save that preset to my computer, I can push it up to my board. It's very, very flexible. In the same way, you have full scene recallability as well. So I can basically recall the entire you know, scene. Uh, what, what, what is a scene? It's basically all of the parameters of the board, all of the effects, all of the aux settings, even fader position, and you can recall all of that. A lot of this we covered in the first CCI webinar, so please go back and check that out. Okay, so. Um, that's the kind of the drag and drop thing. Let me show you one more thing about the drag and drop that's really cool, and that is being able to take a full mix that's on your mixer and load it onto one of the auxes. So here's an application. Um, let's say I have musicians, you know, using in ears, and I want to give them a good kind of representation of everything. All, all of the instruments. Well, the regular way you would do this is you would go over to the mixer and you would, you know, start with one aux and you'd say, okay, you want some kick? Okay, here's a little kick, here's a little snare. You'd kind of go channel by channel, right? Okay, well, you know, the beauty of this is, okay, on, on aux 10, if I just want to take the front of house mix and copy it to aux 10, I can do it with Virtual Studio Live. So right here on the master fader, You'll see that there's a little hand right above the, uh, the master fader. And basically, what it allows me to do is click, 
that hand and drag it to any of the oxes. Okay, so watch ox 10 if I do that. Now look at the board. Wa-bam. I just now copied this mix up to this ox. Uh, and similarly, you know, let's say I like the sound of that ox and now I want to, somebody else, you know, is using in-ears and I want to give them a good starting point. Well, instead of having to, again, one channel at a time, dial up, how much kick do you want? I get a, mi a good mix down here. I copied it to the first dock. Now I can actually copy it straight over. So as you can see, you've got the little hand icon by each aux as well. So I can just take this, click and drag over to aux 9. So, you know, being able to just copy uh, mixes around from an aux to another aux or from the main mix to one of the auxes is just a real cool time-saving uh, kind of a tool.